Hey guys, everybody out there, all my followers, everybody from YouTube. Um, this video today is going to be about a little bit different, once again, from my other videos. But um, hopefully you you will enjoy the video. For quite a long time, um, I've been waiting to have some time to make this video. Uh, I had this uh, car. I'm going to try to put the this, uh, the link into this the description below um, of a video that I've done about um, uh, steering lock or uh, barrel of uh, how the A6 if I'm not mistaken um, where some uh, micro switches were broken and you put the key when the key was removed uh, the car was not detecting that the key was removed and therefore the uh, remote wouldn't work uh, a lot of things on the car wouldn't shut down. Anyway, that car came to me as well with a problem on the electric uh, parking brake. Um, at that time, it was a quite straight fix because the guy that brought the car, he brought me a second-hand um, handbrake module. So pretty much what I had to do really was just um, swap the modules, uh, recalibrate the the second hand module for that car and uh, and off you go everything was sorted but the interesting thing was uh, I've been using the module to for spares really to take you know little components capacitors and things like that so the module is only to bits but but the guy was told that the problem with the, the module was the inclination slash acceleration or deceleration uh, sensor that is what he was told by i believe according to him by uh, the actually audi uh, dealer um that was well, that was he was told and therefore he needed a a, a new um, module so the guy obviously bought a second hand module uh, which worked just fine and the car had that problem with the steering lock as well which once again uh, go on the description and you'll be able to watch that uh, video so for because I've used this for spares I thought I would like to test the acceleration uh, uh, chip and that's exactly what we're gonna do so in here well, we have this chip. I'm going to show you in there because I have over all, all, all here. So the chip in there is a is a SCA six ten series, and that one in there is the C. I'm going to go over there just to show you. Uh, so that's SCA six ten dash. And you start to have already a few ones, but the one in there is a C23. Is that one in there? C23H1A. Okay. They all work in the same principle. It's just the tolerance, uh, the um, accuracy, and things like that. The variety. Everything else is pretty much the same. And these are the pin connections. Oops, where are you? There, so, okay, so this is the pin connections, yeah? <clears throat> so the pin 1, 2 and 3 uh, open. Or with a capacitor you can connect it to uh, ground. I'm not going to do that for this, uh, for this uh, test. Uh, then we have pin 4 is connected to the ground and it's connected to the ground along with uh, pin 5 if you want uh, then we have ST uh, pin 6 is a self test we're not going to connect that one as well uh, pin 7 is the voltage output or um, is actually the signal output from the, 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 the sensor and pin number 8 is the voltage supply voltage supply on this 
is where is that? Is somewhere here under specifications. There is so for the chip to for the sensor chip to work correctly, you need a minimum of 4.75 4, 4 and a maximum of 525. Okay, and Yeah, so that's it. Um, so yeah, so that's the connections. Um, notice in there that it's asking for a minimum of uh, 47 um, nanofarads uh, capacitor uh, between obviously ground and uh, uh, power, which we're gonna do, and. Uh, and then we're going to use my the oscilloscope. We're going to check the the output voltage of this. So here is all connected. I know it's not very fancy, but it doesn't really need to be. So uh, as we just spoke over there, looking at the diagrams, uh, red wire goes to pin number eight. That's uh, five volts. It's set to five volts. Um, ground that is the yellow probe that comes through there it's connected to there uh, I have already connected to the uh, oscilloscope probe here ground and then pin number seven is taking the signal there's a capacitor here I believe is a standard and an end for it so that, that, that will work it needs to be a minimum of 47 as we saw over there, so it's a capacitor there. And these are the only three uh, pins you need to connect. Now, in there, there's an arrow in there indicating the front. This will be facing the front of the car. Okay. So that tells you how we, the, the, the orientation of the chip, of the sensor. And... What I'm going to show you now is, I'm going to try to bring this uh, down a little bit. So we are set to five. Let's going to go voltage, voltage, voltage. Okay, we're going to leave it to five volts. Uh, let me light up the light. It's possibly so so it's set to 5 volts which means each of these squares is 5 volts okay so at the moment is reading about 3 volts okay uh, it's actually reading over there 2.8 volts uh, red so it's really about 3 volts in there and that's probably too much and oh, no, it's actually good so we're going to read this let me have a look under there what is the What is the specifications for the... Mm -hmm. Okay, let's kind of... I'm trying to look for... Uh... It doesn't really say, but it doesn't really matter as well. Uh, we're just going to set this. At the moment, is on 50 microseconds. 
and uh, what we're going to do is and I'm going to show you that the actually chip is working properly so I'm going to level the chip let me just uh, put in there That. Uh, do do measure frequency. Mm, minimum, maximum. Great frequency as well. Frequency there. Eleven there. Mm. So one is frequency and gone. I'm sorry guys, it took me a little while, not a little while, I had something, but um, um, I, I had to put this so uh, the video makes sense in the end. Um, I pulled this line down to there because I want you to see that voltage over there, and the line was right on top of it. So, each line is 5 volts as we said, uh, where the A is, so that line there, that dotted line, that's the 0 volts, and... The sensor is about leveled at the moment, okay, and that is reading about 260 volts at the moment, 2.60 volts. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to incline the chip, so the, the arrow is pointing that way, so I'm going to put tilt the chip that way, the sensor this way, and what you're going to see is, so I'm going to do it like that. I don't know if you can see but the voltage just dropped is now reading 160 I'm gonna put it down I may put a little bit faster uh, let me gonna go to I put on a second which means each square that way is a second in time. It's going to put it like that. And you can have a better look. You can see the line a little bit better. Now I'm going to do the opposite. You see the line goes up. Goes up. It went up to about maximum, as you can see in there, 420. So it went up to 420 volts. As you can see, like that, the car would be in early, would be nearly on a 90 degree. And now the opposite way. And now we're gonna. We're going to simulate a sudden stop when the car is going forward. So the car is is facing that way. So I'm going to I'm going to grab this. I'm going to pull it forward, and I'm going to sudden do a, a sudden stop, a, a abrupt stop, and we're going to see what happens in there. Uh, just let me put that on a half a second time, so we can see. Uh, the response. So I'm going to pull it and we're going to see in there what's going to do. It's in that. So I'm going to do it again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to. Do -do -do.
Bist du mit? Okay, so what I've done now is I've done each of these lines is one volt. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So five volts will be this dotted line here. The one just below the, the frequency in there. That will be five volts. And obviously that will be zero volts. And that's gonna see that way you can see even better. So I'm gonna incline that way. Now tilt it that way. There's a little bit of noise, but that's that's normal. And now we're going to do what we just said. So I'm going to pull it and stop it. So when I pull it forward, you have a peak going up, then coming down, and then stabilize. When I go backwards, if I do it on reverse, that's the opposite. You have a peak. You have a dip, and you have a peak, and you stabilize. So, So I would say there's nothing wrong with this sensor. So whatever the guy was told that the accelerometer or inclination sensor was faulty in the in the module. That's a no no. I don't even know why they said that to the guy. You know. For them to not do mistakes like that, they should just say the module is faulty, job done, that's it. Rather than come up with things that you know, probably they don't even know, not even they are sure what they were talking about. There's nothing wrong with this sensor. Obviously, when you do, this sensor is only detects inclination. So if I tilt it like that, sideways, what you're going to see is, Nothing really changed. I mean, the, the 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 change in voltage is me changing this, obviously, but there's no change when you do sideways. So, so yeah, guys, that that's how you can test this sensor. And then another thing that I can actually uh, would like to point out is is you can actually actually use the sensor like this to to any other project where you need to measure or to. Uh, um, or to um, establish inclination. Uh, I don't know, let's say for example uh, an Arduino project where you want to uh, use some, some something to sense uh, inclination, you can use actually one of these. It's a really easy connection, you know, it's really, really easy to connect. Uh, it's, you only really need three wires to connect to this. Um, so yeah guys, that's it. That's how you can test one of these. Um, come on. How you can test one of these uh, inclination accelerometer sensors. Uh, then I'd like to show you again which one is. So it's the SCA uh, 610 series. Um, and yeah, that's it guys. Um, thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoy it. Any questions, put them below. Uh, and like always, uh, thank you for watching.